Welcome back YouTube. My name is Justin Shanholzer. I represent Maryland's number one RV dealership, Beckley's RVs. And today we're going to be doing a quick tour of the 2021 Winnebago Solus 59PX. This is a Class B van conversion that sits on a Dodge Promaster chassis. It's extremely budget friendly. It sleeps up to four people and it's very compact in size. We're really excited to share this with you. Stay tuned for all the good content that we have to share. So we're gonna start on the inside of the Sola, show you everything that's on the interior. And then once we're done here, we're gonna to transition to the outside and show you all those exterior features. So the first thing we'd like to start with here today are gonna to be these front two seats. So the nice thing with the Solus is you can bring up the four people with you. So you're going to have your driver, your passenger up front, and then you may be able to bring two guests back here with you as well. If you notice right in front of it, they give you a little swing out table. The advantage of the table is you could utilize this as a little eating space or both the driver and the passenger seats both swivel around. So you could utilize this as like really like a nice little communal kind of living space, if you will. So if you decided you wanted to, you know, maybe bring a laptop, you could eat, easily utilize that as a workspace. Um, now directly, behind where these seats are, this is going to be your main convenience and control panel. So what makes the Solus 59PX uh, unique in comparison to its predecessor, which was the 59P, this thing has a generator on board, plus it sits on a heavier chassis, and the last thing is this actually has AC up top on the roof, but we're going to get to that in a moment. But all those controls are all located right here for those items. Uh, we're going to keep moving over here, just show you you got a pretty good size uh, you know, cooktop space. So you have two burners. Those are both gonna be driven by propane. And then directly down below this, they have a nice little you know, cutting board or just really like a, an additional uh, you know, tray. So maybe you happen to have some dishes or uh, you know, prep space, really a lot of uh, you know, universality to that. And then right in front of this, they give you a refrigerator pretty good size but you know if you're like us we typically would end up bringing coolers with us anyways but at least that'll be able to keep pretty much everything that you need nice and cool right here they give you tons of counter space so whether we're washing our hands uh, or maybe need to dry some dishes we got plenty of space right here to be able to do so and then all down below good cabinetry and storage same way with up and above now Right over here, they give you a wet bath. So the wet bath is kind of what it sounds like. It's a combination shower slash toilet. So um, if you can see here, this is a cassette potty. We'll talk uh, more about that when we get on the exterior, but this has its own separate tank that you need to actually tank, uh, take and go have this thing dumped out at. Uh, it's very universal because a lot of people don't want to be you know, tied into a campsite to have to dump your tanks. The nice thing with that cassette po uh, potty is the fact that you can actually literally take that little tank, uh, go anywhere really and dump the tank out versus having to hook up to a septic hose and drain all that stuff out there. Uh, the other thing too is uh, that's neat inside of here is really use kind like a dual purpose area they give you a little hanging rod that goes all the way across the top here so the idea is like maybe if we are traveling down the road and we want to bring some uh you know maybe some clothes that need to be hanged we could easily hang those clothes up there maybe we went for like a long little uh, swim and we had some wet swim uh swim trunks or some bathing suits we could easily drop that stuff right over top of it and that can drip right inside here because you have a shower pan that's down below so when i talk about this being like that wet bath it's that combination so the idea is like you can sit here by the way this seat swivels around so that'll give you a little bit more comfortable space when you're trying to utilize this thing in here especially if you're a bigger person you can have the door open make sure that your arms aren't hitting on both areas uh, otherwise you could sit here and be able to utilize that shower right inside it's even cool too they give you a uh, little spot for us to be able to set our toilet paper holder in there too that way that protects it from getting wet if we do end up using the sink there's even a, like a little uh, uh, furnace vent that's in here so the idea is like maybe we do have those swim trunks like I mentioned earlier you could set that stuff inside of here turn on the heat inside and that will warm up your gear very very quickly so I'm gonna step out of the bathroom here and then we're gonna step into the back of the coach all right, so Winnebago got pretty clever with the way that uh, you check your fresh water tank levels here. So if you see down below here, they provide you this black switch that's here. We've already turned this black switch on, but what it does is it turns on this LED light that's here. And as you fill up your fresh water tank, you're actually going to be, uh, be able to see 
that fresh water tank and how full it really is. So uh, you can actually see your water levels right here. Now the other cool thing that they've added is this system called Eco Hot. So um, if you're going to be boondocking with this thing, taking it someplace that doesn't have any hookups, you're going to want to preserve as much water as you possibly can. Let's just say that you want to warm up, uh, you know, some of the uh, uh, water inside of your water heater. Well, before you go ahead and turn on that faucet, you can flip this over to the preheat mode. What that does is that heats up the water, and as soon as you turn on that faucet, you're gonna have instant hot water. Typically, if you didn't have that preheat mode, uh, then unfortunately it's gotta go through a little bit of cold water first before it turns to hot. Uh, so that's a benefit with this, is it's gonna conserve a lot of that water and instantaneously give you that hot water as long as you go ahead and turn it into that preheat mode. All right, so we're gonna show you the Murphy bed and how that folds down here next. So there's a little hook that's right here. We'll just need to release that hook and this whole thing's gonna drop down here. As you can see, the mattress folds right here in half. And then they give you these wood slats here. So not only is this cool for some breathability, but it also adds some additional comfort here uh, to the mattress itself. Now with anything, uh, you know, these mattresses typically are not the most comfortable. So you're probably gonna wanna get a mattress topper for this. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and climb up on top of the bed. Uh, that way you can see, you know, how comfortable and really how big that it is. So I'm about five foot nine. And you can see I've got more than enough space that's here, right? So I think, uh, you know, having two people that may be able to come with you, I think this would be plenty of space. And we're going to show you something here in a little while. That's what makes this thing so cool is the pop top that's up top on the roof. I'm giving away secrets here and I don't want to do that already this early, but we're going to show that to you here in a little while and it's going to really open up a lot of flexibility for this. So we'll go ahead and fold this back up and out of the way. And if you could see that table that we had set up here earlier, that just simply stows right away right here. So nice and out of the way. Now we didn't show it to you, but while that thing was down, you had a ton of storage that uh, was up and overhead. Plus over here, you got great storage that's overhead as well. And then down below, they give you great storage underneath of the bed area. And then even here, these open up. So you got some storage there. And then I've got some stuff in over here right now, but there's even some additional storage that's over here underneath the bed. So as you can tell, it just really gives a lot of really awesome space. Uh, this is something back here too that we'll show to you once we get outside, but if you can kind of get a quick glimpse or a quick glimpse of it now, there's uh, uh, all these kind of D-hooks or O-rings. The benefit with these, if you had something that you wanted to tie down, uh, you could easily tie those uh, you know, materials down back here and prevent that stuff from sliding around. So, We'll keep moving. We want to show you what the pop top looks like up front. And then from there, we're going to show you what the chassis looks like and kind of some of the ergonomics and some of the features that are up there. And then we're going to make our way to the exterior. All right, so as mentioned earlier, these front two seats swivel around. So we're going to go ahead and show that to you now. You just simply sit up front, slide your hand underneath and slide the seat all the way forwards. That way it can give it the right clearance. And then there's a front little knob here that we're going to just simply pull. And then that'll give us the ability to swivel this thing around and then you can slide it right back into position. So not only can we do that again in this seat, but we can also switch over and do it on our front driver's seat here as well. So we just slide that forwards, grab a hold of that front piece here, and then that'll just simply swivel right around, and then we can slide this right back and in position. So as mentioned, uh, we had that nice little table that was here, so we could easily have a nice little communal area, or if we just wanted to have the ability to work, uh, that's a really comfortable spot to be able to do so. Now the next thing that we're gonna show to you is we're gonna go up top to that pop top roof, because that is probably the coolest feature and why everybody is pretty much buying this thing. All right, so this is a moment that you have all been waiting for. The reason why the Solus has been so popular is because it's one of the first Class B van conversions within the RV industry that gives us the ability to sleep up to four people and the way that they've been able to achieve that is just like the old volts uh, wagon style vans they added a pop top so now you can comfortably sleep two people up front while still being able to sleep two people down below in the van itself so the next thing we want to show to you is how to pop this thing up uh, but before uh, but before we go ahead and do so we want to show you this ladder here so the ladder just stows away it breaks down into two pieces so we'll just remove both of these latches and it stows away right up top here above the cab um, once we broke that out, we definitely need to have this thing out in order to push the entire pop top up. So don't make that rookie mistake of not having this ladder out when you go to pop the top up, okay? So how we do so is there's a little quick process to it and we'll need to do this on both sides. Um, you've got a little uh, seat belt type button that's here that'll release and it's just an extra safety to prevent this thing from opening up. 
Then from there, you've got this little handle that's here that twists and releases this, and we can snap that up and out of the way. And it's got a magnet that'll keep that piece up and out of the way there. And then from here, what we're gonna wanna do is just simply throw two hands up and on top, and we're gonna climb the ladder and push this thing up. So, as you guys can see, that was fairly easy to do, but we're gonna go ahead and climb up on top there and actually show you what it looks like there. So, if y'all wanna follow me, I'm glad uh, I'm young here and able to do this pretty easy. All right, so I would probably be sleeping on my head that way, right? But in case I needed to, I mean, I'm about five foot nine, like I mentioned to you guys earlier. I think I could easily sleep, uh, you know, lengthways, no problem. But the cool thing with this is I've got screen rooms on all corners. They give you a little LED light that's up front here for at nighttime. And there's even some space over here for us to be able to plug in our cell phones. So there's USB ports, but then there's also a 12 volt cigarette outlet up front here too. So lots of good storage up front here. And uh, I think something very comfortable for you guys to be able to enjoy. All right, so we're gonna show you all the exterior features that the Winnebago Solus 59PX has to offer. And the first thing we're gonna start with is right here in the cabin area. So you can see right over here, they give you an exterior shower outlet. So you, the benefit with this is you have both a hot and a cold feature to it. So if we're coming back for maybe a sandy day at the beach, we could easily spray our feet off before popping back on the inside of the coach. Um, now down below underneath of the RV, you can see right here, they have a fill for your uh, propane bottle. So the propane bottle on this is detached and it's up in the middle of the coach, which means it's not uh, something that we can take down and go and have it refilled. Instead, we need to take our uh, van to a place that's certified to fill up propane. So maybe it's a gas station, maybe a truck stop or an RV dealer. They'll be able to fill up that propane inside for you. Uh, the other cool thing is uh, you can actually monitor the levels of this all inside off of that convenience panel that we had showed uh, to you guys here a little bit earlier. Now over here to the left, there's a place for us to be able to store our sewage hose. So uh, you have a gray tank that's on board, and in order for us to be able to dump that gray tank out, we need to bring a sewage hose with us. Well, when we're using the sewage hose and we're done, we have to have a place to be able to store it. Inside, you already have very minimal amounts of storage, so it's really nice that they gave you a space on the exterior of the coach for you to be able to easily slide and store that sewage hose out of the way. Now I want to show you some stuff that's on the back here. So on the back of the Solus, there's a cool and a whole bunch of features on the inside here. But the first thing I want to start with are these two support poles. So um, these support poles are really uh, kind of universal. They're multi-purpose, if you will. So all you got to do is just line these guys up and you can throw the pin in here. What they do is they help from these doors flying open because the idea is that we could utilize and leave these doors uh, wide open here. But if a wind storm or something comes up, it could easily bring one of those doors left or the right and could easily damage the sides of your coach. Um, the other cool thing with this is if you notice inside here, they give you a little screened in exterior. So uh, maybe we could back this up to a beautiful lake. Uh, we'd be able to leave the doors hanging wide open. You could drop your bed right down and be able to have maybe your morning cup of coffee while looking out uh, and seeing your view. Now, if you see over here on the right side, they provide you something that's called a Nautilus P1 system. Um, we're not going to run through all the details of what this has to offer, but it's a ton of cool features. For example, you can fill up your fresh water tank from out here. It's got an exterior shower to it. You could even plug directly into a water source if a campground provides it and be able to utilize their water all from right here. And the coolest piece, in the event that you need to winterize this thing, you can winterize pretty much the entire coach all from this one area right here. Now directly above that Nautilus system, they provide you an exterior 110 volt outlet. And then right to the left here, they give you a ZAMP quick connection for solar. So you've already got some solar that sits up on top of the roof now, that sits right on top of where that pop top was. If you need some additional uh, solar to be able to extend that boondocking stay, well you could bring a portable solar panel, comes in like a briefcase size, you set it outside, point it towards the sun, it's got a long wire that comes off of it and it'll plug right into here. Um, now down below, they've got a very good size receiver on this. So it's rated for a 3,500 pound towing capacity along with a 350 pound tongue weight. So a lot of my clients will typically utilize this either for like a bike rack or maybe you could even bring like your own storage rack if you wanted to. The purpose for this van is the fact that it's very small and compact. It's only 21 feet in overall length. So hopefully you're not towing a car behind this, but you do have the ability to tow a very small vehicle behind your Solus uh, if you decided to do do so. So we're going to step out and we're going to show you what's on the other side here. So 
On the driver's side area, you've got a couple of uh, connections here. So right here is where your 30 amp service would plug in at. The 30 amp service is gonna be us plugging into their electricity there at the campsite if they offer it. Um, remember, this is the 59PX, which means it has a generator on board and it also has that AC that sits up on top of the roof. So the cool thing is if we go to a campground that doesn't have any electricity, then we'll be able to flip on that generator inside and be able to operate everything on the inside of the coach as if we were plugged into this 30 amp service. Uh, now down below, on the other side, we were talking about the gray tank drain. Well, right here is where that gray tank drain is located. So we'll be able to take that sewage hose, connect it right here, and be able to drain out the gray tank as needed. Now, uh, something that's unique to the Class B, uh, you know, kind of industry, um, if you will, is the cassette toilet. So these cassette potties are very popular in a lot of pop-ups. Um, and a lot of people that are actually owners of these Class B vans actually prefer this cassette toilet. So typically, you would have a tank in place of this instead, very similar to the gray tank, where you drain it down here at the bottom. Well, instead, now you've got a black tank that drains right inside of this little storage space right here. So as goofy as it may seem, and there's a, a big kind of controversy online, so take it as if you will, but if you use the toilet inside, everything's going to go right into here. It provides you flexibility to be able to maybe pull over into a truck stop or a gas station, be able to bring this inside and literally dump it pretty much anywhere. The disadvantage without having this is you need to go to some place that has a septic hose or a septic tank for you to be able to drain all that stuff out and in, versus with this, it's going to give you a lot more flexibility. I'm going to slide that back up and in here. And then otherwise, we'll just show you right up front here. They give you your connection to be able to fill up uh, the fuel tank for your Dodge ProMaster chassis. And then lastly, we're just going to finish up with a front look of this thing. So that's the biggest benefit with this, again, is this size. The Dodge ProMaster chassis has become increasingly popular for really two to three reasons. Number one, you're gonna get anywhere from 15 to 18 miles to the gallon with this thing. It is a gasoline engine, but the biggest advantage is its front wheel drive. Typically your Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis and some of your Ford chassis that are within the industry, they're all rear wheel drive vehicles. So this gives you that ability to maybe climb up those steep mountains or maybe be able to utilize this thing in the winter time, you know, going up the mountains with some snow out on the ground. So once again, my my first name is Justin. I represent Maryland's number one RV dealership, Beckley's RVs. And for the last two years, I've been the number one salesperson. So if you'd like more details on this model or anything else that we carry, which by the way, we typically stock about 500 RVs, you can reach out to me here directly. I'm going to go ahead and leave all my information uh, down below in the description. Otherwise, take care and stay tuned for a lot more content coming your way.